Hey guys, thank you for tuning in today. This is Price the Producer with GlobalAudioTools.com, PriceTheProducer.com. And today I wanted to bring music makers across the globe a trade for the taking. I'm going to teach you guys how to tune a guitar, whether it be electric, acoustic, it, it be ukulele, mandolin. Uh, it'll work on any guitar string type instrument. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and be as detailed and descriptive as possible while keeping it easy for the viewers at home. I'm going to show you by using pictures, and I'm going to let you guys hear an untuned guitar and tune it to as I tune it. I'll go ahead and play a little bit out so you guys can get a full understanding of what I just did and what to look for or what to listen for, rather, when you at home are tuning a guitar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight on into it. Um, I use a Korg tuner. It's called a Korg Chromatic Tuner CA-30. Now, why I use this tuner is because a chromatic guitar tuner detects all the notes from a musical alphabet, such as like it'll detect A sharp, F sharp, F, and everything in between, rather than the basic chord, you know, guitar bass tuner. It's more limiting. As far as with someone like me, how I'm more advanced and I'm more branched out, I play ukulele as well, and sometimes mandolin. I kind of need more of a chromatic tuner rather than just a guitar and bass. Now, that's the reason why I chose that tuner. To actually tune a guitar, it's not all that it's cracked up to be, and it really isn't that hard after you understand and know what to do and what to listen for. Uh, if without that knowledge, then it's you know pretty much a shot in the dark. So what I want to go ahead and do is basically uh, make it easy here for you. Uh, how I'm going to go ahead and do it is I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to do it on screen here with the you know, digital tuner. I'm not going to use the uh, CA30 for the sake of this video simply because I'll have to shoot it and then you know switch back and forth. I think it'd be easier just if I tell you how to do it, meaning uh, I would show you or tell you how to use the CA30 and then I could show you basically digitally how to actually tune the guitar and what to listen for. So for with the CA30, when I'm tuning a guitar, I actually just get the electric and I would run it straight into the input. If I'm tuning an acoustic, I would actually just lay the uh, acoustic down and lay the guitar tuner down on top of it. And I'm actually just gonna pluck the first string, which is the E. Now for standard tuning, this is the octave range that you tune in. It's gonna be E, B, G, D, A, E, starting from high to low. How I remembered it, I remember this uh, back in the day a long time ago, well over a decade ago, I learned by this little like rhyme. It was Easter, bunny, got drunk, all Easter, from high to low, E-B-G-D-A-E. -E. So how I tune is um, basically, so if you're playing the guitar, the first string on the top is going to be the low string. That's where I usually start from, and I'll pluck that string with an open hit. Just I don't, you know, hold any frets down. I just hit it with a pick. And let me go ahead and get an electric guitar and show you guys what I mean right here. I'm going to go into FL and actually open up a channel so you guys can hear the input as well with me. So that's an open, that's the open first string, which is going to be the E, the low E. That's what we want to tune to. And then for the sake of this video, so you guys can actually see it with me, the same um, way that I'm actually going to tune the first low E string that well should be E is going to be the same way that you would tune in as uh, the same way that you would tune an electric as if you're running it into the chromatic CA30 or you know the same way that you would tune an acoustic guitar with the chromatic tuner or a cork tuner any type of tuner really would be the same application so let's go ahead and pull up a plug-in I'm going to use guitar rig and I'm going to go ahead and pull up a tuner here so that way you guys can actually see it with me live now, my goal here is I'm going to hit the top low string, which is going to be an E, and I want to tune it to an E. So let's go ahead and proceed to do that, and you guys at home can hear how this sounds. That's pretty good. Now, with an uh, analog tuner such as a chromatic uh, CA30, it's a little bit more easier to get uh, you know, an accurate response with it as opposed to this digital guitar tuner. Uh, as I'm using guitar rig, it actually feels a little bit different from when I use a CA30. 
So just, you know, keep, keep note of that. However, we're still going to get, you know, the same response, and we're still going to be able to get a good quality sound from the guitar. Uh, we want to make sure always that we're in the right octave as well so that we're not putting more tension on the strings than needs to be. Or, you know, you don't want to put more tension on your strings than they can handle. Sometimes you'll get pops and, you know, worst case scenario, you'll actually lose the whole string in general. It'll just bust. So that seems pretty close to me. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now, now that we have this E string tuned, that's an open E. That's the first lowest string on, on the standard tuning, uh, you know, uh, octave, octave chart right here. That's what it's gonna sound like. From that point forward, what you're gonna want to do is I actually I will actually be putting um, pictures right here in the video so you guys can actually see what I am pressing because I don't have a camera facing you know my my hand so that way you guys can see what I'm pressing. I rather I d actually just went in and made you guys pictures so that way you can see there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is proceed. What you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go to the E string, the low E, and you're gonna want to go to the fifth fret and you're gonna want to place your finger on there, which now sounds like this. Now, this is how I tune. I always tune my first guitar string, which is an open E, the low one. I tune that to the tuner, to a chromatic tuner, and I make sure it's right on the E as I did right now within Guitar Rig. And then after that, I'm going to start tuning all of the below. So now we're going to be tuning the second string, and we're going to be listening for it. We're going to be listening for the tune. And this way, this method provides me, uh, it actually, uh, I wanted to go ahead and go with, the, I guess, more of a listen tuning method, so that way, it would keep me, you know, sharp, and it would keep me advanced, and it would allow me to hear instruments that weren't tuned for recordings, for future recordings, and things of that nature. Basically, it's just better to hear a tuning and to know to hear an untuned guitar than to rather rely on the tuner for the entire tuning. So that's why I decided to go ahead and let you guys hear it with me, a real tuning of a guitar, tuning it live for you. So basically, we're going to tune the second string now, which is going to be the A, the low A, or the A. So let's go ahead and do that. You place your finger on the low E, fifth fret, and you actually see right here in the picture. And then what you're gonna wanna do is strike the strings, strike the E, and then the A. So it's gonna sound like this. Let's go ahead and untune that. It's almost in tune there. This is what an untuned sounds like. This is going to tune it live so you guys know what to listen for. That's that's where you want it. That's how you want it. You want a flat response sound with both of the strings while plucking them. So now what we're going to do is the same process, so we're going to go ahead and proceed. Now we're going to put our finger on the A string, 5th fret. It's going to sound like this. Now what we're doing here is we're actually tuning the D string below it. So again, we're going to strike the A string. <coughs> excuse me. We're going to strike the A string and then D string, and we're going to work our way up to the flat tuning or to the tuning part. So untuned response. Tuned response. And then you just want to keep working your way on down. Right now we're going to do D to G. So 
uh, D string, fifth fret. Let's hear how the tuning is right now. That's way off. Too high. So out of tune. In tune. Okay, so we're getting there. So that one was from D to G, and then now we're going to do from G to B. So G, uh, G string, <laughs> G string, fifth fret. And on this one right here, you're actually, when you hit the first uh, light string, which is going to be from the low to high, you're going to count from the low, which is going to be the E. On the G string, you're actually going to want to move to the fourth fret instead of tuning how we were tuning on the fifth, you're going to want to do a G fourth fret. So it's going to be, instead of sounding like this, move down to the fourth fret. And we're going to tune, we're going to tune the G from here. I'm sorry, we're going to tune, we're going to tune the B from here. Sorry. So from D to G. So that's going to be D fifth fret. And then it's going to be G fourth fret. And then the G is going to be G to B fourth fret. And only on the G is going to be the only string that you move to the fourth fret on. And then you're going to do the last one, which is going to be B to high E. So you're going to go back to the fifth fret, B fifth fret. And then you're going to tune the bottom um, high E. And there you have it. That's the last string. And after that, you should be getting some good sounding chords. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys would hear the difference from the untuned guitar and a tuned guitar. It's uh, necessary each and every time you record. You should be uh, you should be tuning a guitar or any string guitar type instrument should be tuned. 
Uh, again, this method would work for any type of those. Uh, I hope I made it easy for you guys. If you have any questions or anything of that nature, just go ahead and drop the comments below and I will go ahead and get back to you. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This was Price the Producer with GlobalAudioTools.com, PriceTheProducers.com. You guys have a great day.